what's this? Hi and welcome to Robot Shop. We have put together a kit for an autonomous robotic lawnmower. We call it the RoboCut. Let me show you the parts included in the RoboCut kit. There will be a video produced which demonstrates the RoboCut and also how to assemble it. So far that video is not available in English. However, with this little introduction Maybe you could uh, look at the Swedish video and uh, get the idea anyway. And maybe you could pick up some useful Swedish on the way. So, these are the parts included in the RoboCut kit. First, there are a set of plastic parts from black ABS plastic that forms the chassis or more or less the box of the RoboCut. There's a top plate, a bottom plate, a back panel, two side panels, the two drive wheels. These two wheels are fixed together to create the third support wheel. There are four aluminum rods which, which are put in, in the corners to join the box together. There is a set of a lot of nuts and bolts, wishers, parts for the included ball bearing and other stuff in a box here. There are also some parts in, in uh, foam PVC. And these are uh, the front and rear bumpers. This is the front panel. These two are the forks joined together with the third wheel to create the support wheel. These are standoffs for mounting of the PCB. And we have the PCB with the wonderful basic stamp 2 processor. In fact you could put any basic stamp or pin compatible processor in, in the socket. This invites you for your own experimenting, creating your own software to... And of course you could get this machine work much better than we ever could. That of, at least should be your intention, I guess. So, to this PCB, all the motors are connected. There are two drive motors, Italian quality motors, 12 volts with a two-stage two planetary gearbox. This is a German motor that is directly connected to the cutter disc. There is also an accumulator rated 12 volt 4.5 ampere hours. This second PCB is used for what we call the buried wire fence that is sort of surrounding the area in which you want the, the mower to stay. So this creates a signal that is transmitted through the buried wire. It's also uh, the charging device, so it creates a constant current for charging the nickel metal hydride accumulator. These parts are in Macrolan or I think it's called Lexon, transparent material, these two together with the little standoff creates the cutter disc. Here is the front shield and this panel is used for mounting of the PCB. There is a programming cable included connects the PCB and the basic stamp to your PC or laptop. A CD with a lot of basic stamp related material, the basic stamp editor the basic stamp manual, etc., etc., together with specific software for the RoboCut. And the wall mount power unit. This has the European, or maybe I should say the Scandinavian socket. 
However, it's a switch, switch the device, so the input current or input voltage is rated from 100 volt until up to 240 volt. So it should work anywhere with an adapter. Then there is a little piece of cable for the final mounting of the, mo the motors inside the, inside the chassis box. So that's, I think, is all included in the Robocat kit.